Hey everyone, uh, we're here to invite you to attend our distributed SQL summit coming up on September 14th. And thought it would be helpful to share a few comments from myself, Conan and Karthik on uh, why, should, why you should attend. Uh, first off, hi, I'm Bill Cook. I'm the CEO here at Yugabyte. I've been here a little over two years now. And it's really an amazing time in the tech world. You know, I've had the good fortune of seeing three or four of these major tech waves happening. And in my experience, each one of these, you know, waves of technology build on the previous wave. So what changed along the way to enable something else to happen and basically change the constraints that we were dealing with uh, previously. And specifically the, the two big ways from my perspective that have happened over the last five years have been really the whole you know, I as infrastructure cloud, if you will, Kubernetes is essentially allowing how apps can be built and deployed differently, uh, more quickly uh, in an agile, lean uh, component based microservice based way. And so those two big waves are happening. And if you think about it, both of them have a distributed systems kind of mindset underneath them meaning we need to automate, we need to be able to go at, at, at scale. And these patterns around automation, scale and resilience, and then managing it more automatically, that is the future. And, you know, we would say the future is here now. And so these two major waves have led to, you know, a, a third major wave, if you think about the database or the core database technology built for these distributed systems or cloud native world. And we've seen this change really happen quicker on the analytics side of the database world. Uh, you know, I was formerly at Greenplum, we saw the big Hadoop wave, and now companies like Databricks and Snowflake that uh, have these kinds of capability for the analytics side. But what about the transactional side of the database world? You know, why is the you know the rest of the stack if you will all shifted to this distributed systems mindset and not the transactional database side um and i guess the the, the other point i would make is the you know distributed systems database is an essential foundation for the scale out transactional world that needs to evolve and to meet these requirements of microservices and the business requirements of building either logic in the app or in the database has to be built now for this scale out world. And if you continue to operate the way you're operating today with a traditional database, it will be increasingly problematic as you grow. On top of that, you've got security and risk issues. You know, this notion of concentration of risk and your executive team and CISO are thinking about how do we, how do we deal with this? How do we make sure we have resilience? How do we make sure we have geo distribution? in our in our data to meet these requirements so from my perspective something has to give and so when something has to give there's a there's a change happening and a way of happening and you know how are you going to go about solving that one potential easy button is you say i'm just going to turn this problem over to one of the public cloud providers and let them handle all of this but as you know the transactional data is the lifeblood of your company and um this can be problematic from a, from a number of, of dimensions, including you're going to want to run edge, you're going to want to run your private data center, you're going to want to run public cloud, depending on the use case and what you're trying to do, you're going to need that kind of capability. So, so what should we all do, given all, all of that's in front of us right now? And we believe a distributed systems-based approach with an open source database built from the ground up to meet these emerging, growing requirements leveraging these two big waves is the is the way to go certainly there's much more to do and this shift is going to require time it's going to require uh, evolution of the database tier and so that's what this distributed sql summit is all about how can you learn about the technology trends that are happening both personally and for your organization so you can get started uh, on this journey and you know, you're gonna learn more about the fundamentals of the core attributes of distributed systems databases like Yugabyte. And you know, what's the same? You know, if you know Postgres or you know Oracle or you know Cassandra, what's the same, but what is different and better and why? 
that's what the summit's about. And, you know, many forward thinking enterprises who've led the charge on the app modernization and moving to cloud infrastructure are now modernizing their data infrastructure. So companies like Pfizer and Wells and Kroger and Comcast, just to mention a few who are all on this path, uh, will be talking about uh, some of the progress they've, they've made. Uh, this is our fourth year of distributed SQL summit. It's not a new thing. The momentum is building. And, uh, you know, I've seen a few big shifts over the years, but now this database shift to complement all that's happening out there in the world is really exciting. And uh, we're inviting you to join the movement. It's really an exciting time to, to be in the industry. So Conan, Karthik, uh, your thoughts about why people should attend the, the summit. Hi folks. Um... Um, I'm, I'm one of the co-founders along with Kanan, um, and uh, we're both super excited about distributed SQL, having seen it from when we started building the database back in 2016, uh, but specifically uh, distributed SQL summit, right? Like the first summit we hosted was in 2019, and it was attended by a massive 125 people, right? It was an in-person conference. It feels like a different era now. However, since then, the interest in distributed SQL has been growing leaps and bounds to where we have had more than 2,000 to 3,000 people attending our last couple of conferences. And, uh, and it shows that the mainstream interest is building, right? And why? Just as Bill said, the way of building applications is changing. The infrastructure on which applications are deployed is changing. Applications are becoming more agile, more microservices oriented. And uh, the infrastructure is more cloud-like. It is the cloud, in fact, and it's cloud native. So when you put these two things together, well, why are you doing all this? Why does anybody want to change anything? Well, it's really to build better applications, to give better experience to end users and to make it all simple, right? Like, so that's really at the, at the, at the crux of all of this. And uh, when you think about the move to the cloud, it becomes important to recognize you need a database that will support you in the cloud, right? And, and what does cloud mean after all? A cloud gives you compute very quickly and cloud does run on commodity hardware to pass on the savings. So putting all those together, the direction points straight at distributed SQL, people still love relational technology. Uh, I mean, there was a big hoopla about NoSQL. Well, what we really found out at the end is SQL never left. It was just always here. It is out here much stronger to stay. So that's what makes distributed SQL super interesting. There's a wave of uh, convergence from the NoSQL side, a wave of convergence from the SQL side, and another one from the application building tier. So that's what makes me excited, super excited, and also really, really exciting to see the, the history being written in front of our eyes as everybody starts moving to distributed SQL. So the event itself primarily meant as a learning thing, like it's mostly for people to share experiences, share their journeys, share where they are in their evaluation, share pain points and like uh, talk about what didn't work or what worked or, or, or perhaps even other issues like security in the cloud, something completely unrelated to distributed SQL. So uh, we hope you'll join us. This is going to be a fantastic event. Um, let's make it a blast. Kanan, do you, what, what makes you excited about Distributed SQL Summit? Pleasure to meet you all. And uh, it's my pleasure to welcome you all to the DSS event, our fourth year uh, of hosting this event. And why am I super excited about this event? Well, many, many companies are looking to modernize their applications, right? And uh, a database tier is at the crux of this modernization journey as they are looking to build applications that are highly available, highly resilient, and can grow and expand as the business expands, they're looking to databases other than traditional relational databases, databases that can support their asks around high availability, elasticity, scalability, the things that you associate when you normally think of like, you know, cloud and cloud native properties. So, at DSS 2022, you will hear from lots of practitioners that are going through that journey of database modernization. You'll hear from engineers, practitioners, and many people, their experiences on the do's and don'ts and you know best practices, lessons learned uh, in adopting uh, technologies such as distributed SQL. So yeah, be there and uh, you'll have a lot of fun. Really excited about this. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Hope to see you all at the summit on September 14th. It'll, it'll be a great time for all. Thank you.